HitFirstBoxing.com. We in the house. We got Brian, Brian, Brian Jennings in the house. I mean, Brian Jennings, you know, didn't have a chance to go out to Philly to see you train out there, man. You know, as we all got working, you know, life, you know, tribulations. But I mean, you is the hardest working man in this business. Definitely. I mean, someone that wakes up 4 30 in the morning, go jobs, with man, takes his kids to school, man, go to work, man, does his nine to five, and goes in the gym, chains with, you know, with Fred Jenkins over here. Yo, Fred, can I get you for a second in here? Yeah. Fred, get you in here for a second. And we got Jay Prince in the house, too, Jay man. Prince, Jay Prince, don't, don't, don't leave nowhere, though. See here. And I'm saying like this, I mean, you know, what I just heard today where, you know, that they're happy that they got this fight. But we're going to rewind, you know, we're going to go way back. We're going to rewind where the first person on the contract was what? Thomas Adamick. Thomas yeah. Adamick was the first one. Well, you know, you talk about it, man. You tell us how it went down. Well, you know, man, this this, this is a boxing business, and uh, we, got to, we got to expect everything, man. We got a lot of ups and downs. We got a lot of, you know, fights being made, fights being poured out, you know, uh, fights not being, you know, made at all. But, uh, I mean, you've got to expect everything, man. So uh, I had a couple of opponents, you know, pretty much lined up. You know, we, we went after a few, you know, got denied a few times. Uh, a lot of people was unavailable. But, you know, we stayed working, man. We stayed working. And uh, and here we have it. We have it. We have it. It's the final, it's the final opponent. So I remember 25th. when we spoke, you know, you said Adamick was the first man on the list. He uh -huh. didn't go in. Then Vach was the man. He didn't accept. Yeah. And then you had Arthur Spielka. He had a situation where he landed in Chicago last week, Sunday. Got uh -huh. deported back to Poland because he had problems with his visas. Uh -huh. He's back here. He can't wait for this fight. How was your whole training camp for this fight? Uh, my training camp was good, man. My training camp was nice and smooth, man. When you in shape, when you live it every day, you ain't got to work too hard, man. I mean, the hard work is within life itself. So I live every day. You know, like you know, like a like a true box is supposed to live. So this this is life to me. You know, so that's that's what it is. Let me ask the trainer now, Fred. As we know, I mean, you know, you're one of the best trainers in the game, and you got a major heavyweight right here. You know, the future for the American heavyweight division. As we all know, America does need a heavyweight champion right now. We got issues here in the country. But what were the plus and minuses that you've seen in uh, Brian Jennings' camp that you wanted to go forward? It was no minuses at all. Oh, everything was a plus. Every he was put to the test. He accomplished everything he needed to accomplish to get ready for his fight. He's going to win any way he can. Spawn partners, everything was on point. Everything was on point. We went through the whole East Coast for spawn partners. Mm. I mean, we got Jay Prince in the house. I mean, he was his manager slash, well, can we say promoter, co-promoter, or is it just manager? Bad just a manager. I mean, when you found, how'd you find Brian Jennings? How did that work out? Oh, man, Brian found me when he performed the way he did on TV. You know what I mean? Everybody saw it. So, <clears throat> after I seen him perform, I'm like, wow, this is the next heavyweight champion of the world. Nice. Now, question is, Arthur Spielker, you guys know anything about this opponent? You watch any of his fights? Well, you know, I've watched him, but that's for Fred to really specialize in, and I'm sure they dissected his strengths and weaknesses. So, you know, come Saturday night, we're going to do what we have to do. As Jay Prince said, what are the minuses and the pluses in Arthur Spielker that you know of, that you see? Uh, Arthur, Arthur Spielker is a solid fighter. He's, he come to fight. It's the only difference is his genuine. He, he can adjust to any style of anybody he fight and, and find a way to win. So whatever offer bring to the table, Jenny is going to top it and be, come out victory. Come out victory. On the Twitter account, you guys been going back and forth, man. You know, a little, you know, bad mouthing each other, you know, here and there. When you seen him, you know, right there, face to face, eye to eye, man. What you seen? What did you see in his eye? I seen a little boy. I seen a little boy with with, with, with fat still on his face. Um, you know, with a little twinkle in his eye. Man, I seen a little boy. I honestly, honestly, honestly seen a little boy. Didn't see a man. No face you had. I seen a boy. Yo, you know, you like the donut. Give it to me, baby. Give it to me. The ball head, the ball head, little baby walking, dancing around for the. Uh, what's that? Blockbuster. That's what I seen, man. But uh, I honestly seen that. I'm very confident in going into this fight. I'm very confident in going through with life. Um, whatever it is, at the end of at the end of the day, you know, I'm, 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 I can live with it. Um, you know, I prepare very hard for this fight. Uh, I prepare every day for for my everyday battles. Um, you know, because I'm living a fight. Um, you, you know, the fight on January 25th, that's a small fight compared to the fight that I'm living every day. I got to walk out in these streets. So uh, I'm definitely prepared. Um, his weaknesses that I've seen you know, with him, you know, he pretty much lacks defense. Uh, his, his, his ring knowledge is definitely low. His IQ is low. And as you can see, he's looking for the knockout. So he's very impatient, and he doesn't know exactly what he wants to do. He has no game plan. His only game plan is to knock me out. And once he, once he realizes he can't do that, then he's going to fall apart. And 
and that's when I take over. I mean, you know, in the boxing world, there's not too many boxers. There's a small amount of percent where you have fighters that are able to go to work, do a hold down nine to five, be a father. I mean, you know, you don't have people like that in this world, my man, to do all that. How do you do that, man? I it's mean, the balance, it's the balance of life, man. If I don't practice it now, then I'm just gonna hit me later. And then, you know, when I, when I become rich, oh, you know, I'm already, I'm already rich. You know, rich, riches and riches with the you. You know, so, um, so, but, but, but when you become financially successful and you have all these things you have to tackle and do, then you you wind up, you people wind up not even knowing how to balance it. You can't even balance a small company. So I mean, look, I'm I'm, I'm willing to do it. I've been practicing it my whole life. So therefore, I'm the man for the job. Brian Jane, a couple last words for fans worldwide. Uh, everybody, you know, come tune in on January 25th at Madison Square Garden at the theater on HBO. Uh, if you got your tickets, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll hear your voice scream. Um, I, I, I hope you guys enjoy the fight. I'm definitely going to put on. And you can follow me on Twitter at BY Jennings or follow me on Instagram at BY Jennings or Facebook, Brian Bye Bye Jennings. Always a pleasure, man. Always a pleasure. All Keep right. doing your thing, man. All right, thanks.